Hello, everybody, and Arsenal fans. <laughs> No, uh, I had to. Uh, I saw this meme <laughs> saying, "If you're having a bad day, just imagine this: there's a national fan somewhere, hoping that West Ham or thinking that West Ham will beat Man City. <laughs> How did that work? I've been telling y'all, I'm going to be a I'm going to be a Now y'all are going to become rugby fans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, for the Olympics, yeah, twenty years, man. Um, I'm sorry. I, 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 I don't want to be the like the someone who's making fun of other people's pain. Um, and I know how heavily invested, especially emotionally, some of you are in these games. Um, Manze Polini, you try next season. I don't know why it didn't work, but like the two games that were your fan bought the bag. You gave me Aston Villa. That was ah, Eonueli Wamaliza Kabisa. It's you, you guys. For the last twenty years, you've been starting well, but probably finishing. Kidogo in the quad tricky. It's not easy to win an EPL. Um, we can all agree that. Uh, but yeah, so congratulations to Man City, Man City fans. Uh, this is so unlike me because I'm not. What crazy about football? What am I doing? Eh? As an offense, look at me. <laughs> eh? eh? Attending to your emotions. Ah, your money. Yeah, so welcome to the Masinga Podcast Show. I am him, Masinga Macau. It's really good to have you here. Leo ni kenza siku yangu. Brother Jana ni kenda kulala. Um, na pia, it, wana semanga, they say this. Those people talk about manifestation we do come iso by the way manifestation it also appears in the bible um they say that the state you're going to sleep in is very important lazima ulale in peace kuna scripture na sema usilale na hasira is it a sira mind anger mhm like ana kwambia he's not denying you the the right to have an emotion or to express anger but don't go in bed while you're still angry kuna hiyo scripture is it efficient i can't remember um but yeah so they say that oh, this the state you're going to sleep in is very important um, um, because that's when your subconscious mind is alive and your subconscious is responsible for for manifesting or bringing things into into reality so when you're going to sleep make sure la yeah so anyway i just just something i'm adding uh jana when i was going to sleep man i was just spending time in prayer and i was telling god um Thank you for everything. Thank you because you've caught me. Thank you because you provided for me. I was just naming the things one by one. Remember we said that when you're thankful, you're going to see many things to be thankful for. When you're complaining, you will see a lot of things to complain about. So you I'd rather you choose uh, gratitude. Mm -hmm. Shukuru to. Uh, it might not be what you might want it to be. It, it probably it's ugly. There's no food. Uh, you're going through a breakup, a divorce. Uh, there's something which you want is not working. A client not paying, uh, being evicted in your house. I I know that. Uh, I have faced a lot of that. Uh, if I'm being honest with you. But manzi just just shukuru to even in that place to say matunia santi, say matunia santi, and and allow the allow the love of God, allow the grace of God to be the loudest thing. When things are not working or not working, let the grace of God, let His love, His mercy for you be the loudest voice. This this is the only thing that will silence all the other voices that tell you that you're not good enough, tell you that. Does God really love you? Is God really for you? Apana, you don't want to go in that space, because that. Bless, Ukenda, the devil now can corner you easily. He can now come with the depression, with the fear, with the self-esteem issues, with the suicidal thoughts. I struggled with suicidal, I struggled with suicidal thoughts a while back in 2021. Am I really good enough? Does God really care for me? Does God really love me? You could question to you, you that negative nakidokidogo. They say that the body or the mind is addicted to negative thinking. But I was even yearning to go in that dark corner eh, and just sitting there and willowing in self-pity. I'm not good enough. Eh? That, that's a horrible corner to find yourself in. So remind yourself that you're loved. Remind yourself, kila sikum. Let the let the voice of God, that that is grace, be, be the loudest thing. Um, and, and listen to the gospel. Listen to good things that affirm you of how much God is. So that was the zone I was in, that God is still on my side. Mm -hmm. That God, God has caught me. He, he never leaves me. I, 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 and with that understanding, it's easy to enjoy prayer. Prayer does not become a task where you have to convince and strive to convince God. 
it's no longer a task it's an enjoyable thing to do uh, when you understand that he's on your side god is always online he never leaves you on on red right or or, or, or um or hanging it's not like you're writing an email to god i love it will respond later it's an instant reply he's always there he's always online with you he's on your side so relax child of god you are on the right side of history yes you are in the good books of god because of christ not because of what you've done not because of how long you prayed not because of your charitable activities uh -uh nope but because of one man christ because of what is done mm, because you've confessed and, uh, uh, and repented right you may repent repent it's coming in argument with god and, and and confess that christ came and died and resurrected for you when you believe in him that he is the son of god is mm -hmm. is become your salvation because of that you are in the right side with you are on the right side of history yeah, you're not on the bad side. And there, nothing can snatch you. Not even sin, not fear, not death, mm -hmm. not the enemy. Nothing, nothing, nothing has power on you. I, I feel like many Christians struggle with self-esteem and stress because they never taught these truths. How I'm being you clearly. When you read the New Testament, Vizuri, you will see a lot of... Um, um, the believer identity is being affirmed. You will see, I'm a, I'm a royal uh, gen uh, generation, royal priesthood. I'm chosen. I'm the one who's loved. Like when I thought, I am, I am. There's a, there's a strong affirmation of the believer found in the New Testament. Now, let's move your They have to be. They has to be part of your program. Every day, every day, Lazima, you have to listen to good music that reminds you of that reality. Good gospel music. See, it is in a how you have to work your way to to get to God. My friend, God already came to you. It's up to you to wake up to that, to wake up to that realization, to realize, to wake up to that reality and agree with what he says about you. Yeah. The, 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 a lot of the preaching, you can tell the way they're preaching, this pastor does not add as in understood grace. And you mind what people there, even the topics of the sermons. You can like, ah, oh, you're your grace. The moment you understand grace and how much God has loved you and what he's done for you through his death and resurrection, you will not teach about mantles. There's no higher mantle than the love of Jesus, than his grace. You will not teach about even tithing, tithe to be blessed. You won't teach about 10 ways to be blessed. You won't teach about spiritual fathers because those are nothing compared to Christ and what he's done. If people could know the grace of God and his love, they won't struggle with giving. Yeah, they will easily give. They won't struggle with forgiveness. They won't struggle in marriage. Yes, kutokwana challenges, but they will not struggle. But you see, it's like more about behavior modification. Yeah, they, they, they give an example of washing the cup on the outside. Just washing the cup on the outside, but on the inside, it's messed up. You grace it is it is grace it is accepting Christ that allows that gives us that now the life can flow from the inside out. But see, what do we do? We want it to flow from the outside in. Ten ways to be blessed. Give a seed to be blessed. Raise an altar. Is there an altar that is bigger and better than Jesus? Oh come on now, and and, and Christians like these things in Africa, even globally in other countries. In, in the UK, US, I'm like, ah, oh, I thought this is an African thing. These things have taken the center stage because Christ is not elevated. Where Christ is not elevated, anything goes. We do funny, funny is in a water. So you must hear the gospel. You must hear gospel. Mm. The greatest of them all is love. Okisha grasp to love too. You won't struggle with giving. You won't struggle with forgiveness. I won't struggle with forgiving and understanding my mom. Uh, forgiving my brother, I, I'll be less judgmental. Mm? I won't struggle with giving. Mm? I don't need the pastor tell me, hey, Tony, uh -uh. I will give freely because the love is the motivation. But when there's no love, that's how you love it, you don't hear about it. How will you know when you, you, you can't constantly hear about what you're supposed to do to attain his blessings? That is an error. You should hear what is done for you. Yeah, hear a lot about what he's done for you. It is it of water. Cindy, right? So he's right there with you. He's online. <laughs> mm -hmm. We are not sending an email to God. Allah, he waits for a couple of weeks or months, then he can get back to us. He's right there with you. He never is right there with you. God is online with you. 
if I'm being honest with the one who live him. Sisi ndio tunaendanga. Eh, hey, yeah, ji tuacha. Sisi ndio tunatokanga, we go, we do funny things. Then yeah, anakuwa tu hapo. His position, his thoughts about you, it's permanent, it's it's unchanged. It's not influenced by anyone, by your mom, by your no, uh, by so you, I hear people do these things, generational curses. I you have God. What is a generational curse, bro? You have Christ. You ni nini bara unasema? You think that you tell me that thing is bigger than Christ? Mm, give a seed to break the yoke. Oh, you tell me that 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 thing cannot hear the name of Christ, but in Ezra obey a 2000 shillings um seed offering. Hazi skia Christ. Lakini ukipea dha mbili itasikia. Oh, come on y'all. Come on. Uh, uh, elevate let Christ be the biggest thing in life yako. Yeah, his his resurrection, his goodness, his mercy. Acha tu umweke tu pale. You, you will you will you will enjoy dating you will enjoy giving and you will enjoy ministry by the vitu zidangangana na watu wengi wana suffer place their resources a lot due they want to go define the blessing and the anointing and the move based on what they have on the car mm? so you know someone gave an example that today there was a big christian mo- a movement uh, conference let's say 100,000 people attending and the man of god akuje na boda boda with a bike not driving a posh car no security not wearing a posh nice eh? well manicured suit many people will be like huh who ndio mgani because christians they've been taught power in a certain way yes if christ was to show up today what wakanisa most people in the church they would not accept him because he won't teach about fathers he won't do that he won't be wearing funny things he won't be uh, having a, a whole situation in entourage with cars or walking no i don't want to say drama it will so it will be so simple baka mtakuwa like hi ndio you i know it's true because that is exactly how he came now akam kata wako like ah But because they they expected glamour mtu atakuja konge the roman kwa kwa mekaliona the romans if, I, if i'm not wrong eh yeah? we 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 tie glamour na hizo nini to that but a uh-uh. a kuna 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 manze and that's what people were are so wamekaliwa na na that bondage of material wealth and material things is mawakalia they control them because they have not understood yet the father mm, the love he has for them mm? eh hey, manze yeah so is right there with you <laughs> is right there with you um yeah so be confident in who you are in Christ yeah, let let your confidence come in, in what is done for you not in what you can do uh, you hear people take big pump their chest uh, thump the big uh, i pray for nine hours like that that's the thing that's keeping it together i pray for 10 hours i fast i go to the mountain hey mimo gesken gesema to the to what is done what is accomplished for me that's where it's at yeah what christ has done not what i'll ever do not what i've done or not done but what he's done for me that 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 is where the believer should focus um yeah so um and uh, and I, i i thank god for you know my friends uh i won't mention them <laughs> but thank you for being with me uh showing me love and care i was i had a rough day some last week rough to kidogo too eh ka kitu kidogo kalifanya kidogo um na wakana hiyo ni kitu kidogo it shouldn't bother you and, and i think when you when you understand your position when you get your life your meaning your satisfaction from christ when that is your cornerstone you're not easily broken by things and people The reason why the breakup in Mikukalia sana it's because you draw life and meaning from that person. The reason why the lack of money completely sh- dismantles your self esteem it's because somehow you draw your life and meaning and satisfaction from money. The, the reason why those things they suffer certain kuna a certain you've put them on a pedestal. Mhm and that is why the breakup the, your boss akisema tu kitu kidogo hivi you're on a crumble you're crashing because you've you've put them here you've elevated them you've made them gods they, you, they, they, they've made them your source of meaning and life you're doing things laboring to be approved by a fellow man but when it comes from Christ when you're confident in Christ ah yeah 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 you're not easily broken by these things these things they, they don't control you they don't have a lot of power on you Yes, kutakuwa na seasons sikatai 
but azita kukalia sana for real uh -huh. and just to finish this uh, <clears throat> or rather to go to the second part of the podcast i there's a time i went through a breakup <laughs> and a friend of mine kualini i thank god for those good friends i can't be masinga hapa kuna kashida mahali there's a eh? I think you you in need of the, 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 there's a great need of attention than the healing or, 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 or attention and I, I can't help but think of that man who was at the pool who was sick for 38 years and God already knew what he wanted or his story and akuja pale alafu anaanza kumwambia oh what do you want he asked the man what do you want It's like oh anytime i try to do this someone jumps in i goes out of me and they get the healing instead of me see they needed the attention more than the healing what do you want unataka nini masinga what do you want what and i've been in that corner what do you want the healer unataka the healing ama unataka tu ukatoa hapo uongele vile kulidhuka vile you've been divorced vile you uli abort vile god god is not god is not stuck on that on that one abortion on that one mistake on that break up on that divorce no He's, he know, he already knows the bible says god christ already knew alikwasha design he knew exactly the story what do you want oh you know any type the, the self pity neediness unataka uh, nini let's just give an example to make it make sense imagine you've been hungry the whole day for the last two days with no meal and i i present to you a, a seven course dinner in a fancy restaurant and instead of you partaking the meal you start talking about all oh, the way you've been angry the way you've suffered bro what do you want the healing or attention do you see how we're addicted to to this those things there has to be a shift but lazima to the 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 great one hmm? the master the one who's died for us what is done for us is bigger than your need for attention the healing is more important you having a relationship with him is more important than having a certain amount of money or driving a certain car or being married or your divorce it is bigger than that but but because are to do with that and we, we elevated these things that is why you're given the meal and all you want to talk about is how hungry you've been just eat the food bro cool abana another example <laughs> i like this one you have uh you found a new love you found new love is perfect is caring is present in the moment he knows how to take care of you how to affirm you is everything you ever wanted in a man well, one day he invites you to dinner he takes you to dinner fancy restaurant you're there mm -hmm. the mood is perfect i the, the, the candlelit dinner some probably some soft jazz playing mm. yeah, the mood is right kila kitu iko sawa chakula imeletwe your new boyfriend is there and then you start talking about your ex how they were bad how your ex was horrible and mean to you to your new lover to your new boyfriend that is exactly what we do Christ has saved us, healed us, forgiven us. But for some reason we want to talk about our past. We want to talk about the divorce, the marriage didn't work, that abortion, that mistake. Mm -hmm. You're stuck on that even though you go. That's exactly what we do. You have you have the king of kings, man. Akwapo I make is chose to dine with you. That, that the man was for 38 years was at the side of the pool what do you want do you want healing ama unataka nini she said talk about vile amesafa vile kumekuwa kubaya mm any time self pity mm but uzuri the good thing about god ana tukua raise vitu zote na all these complexities he still loves us he still thinks highly of you his love is permanent he never switches so ah who you this one i don't think i may come gumo is being too difficult he has too many complexities and issues <clears throat> let me stop loving him no that is not god hmm? hey man <laughs> so challenge kwenu what, what, what are you going to focus on 
You're going to focus on how you've suffered or the healing that is provided. What are you going to focus on? You are your ex or the new lover that you've got. Mm, the ex is the devil. <laughs> the duck, where we're coming from, are you going to focus on that or, or on the healer? You're going to focus on the law or the grace of God. Are you going to, what are you going to focus Whatever you focus on, mm -hmm. if it, it becomes bigger in your life, right? That's something you've heard a lot here on this podcast. Whatever you choose to focus on expands. So today, choose to focus on His grace, His love, His mercy, His goodness for you. Listen to content that focuses on His goodness, that puts less pressure and focus on you. But choose it to amplify him. Let that be your focus. And warn if it is warn if you to flow. Just do that for a week. Warn it. Mm. Manze, um, yeah, that's it for today. This should be short, I think. Um, yeah, have a lovely Monday. I'm going to edit this thing right away. And I'll edit it to size. Yeah, I'll see you soon for the next one. <laughs>